All right, y'all. So look, never in a million years, okay, never in a million years that I think the Breakfast Club was gonna end, okay. And then when it was gonna end, I thought it was gonna end over some like maybe some petty internal beef or maybe somebody asked for too much, you know what I'm saying, contract wise, like something like that. That's how I thought it would end. I did not think, I did not think, I did not have on my 2023 bingo card, DJ Envy also getting hit with a Rico. He would make the third celebrity hit with a, a hit with a Rico. We got Young Thug, we got Donald Trump, and now we got <laughs> we got DJ Envy. Okay, so just a quick, quick, uh, quick backstory. So DJ Envy uh went into a um a partnership, um, a business dealing. Um, and these are his words, not not mine, so I'm not making nothing up. A business dealing um in partnership with a uh Man, I forget the dude's name. His name is going to be said in this news broadcast. But needless to say, um, he was scamming people for the re for the re real estate money. Like, he was saying, oh, we're going to invest in this property. And he never even owned the property. He would just get people to give him money and never even close on the property. Never actually own it. So then he was having peop other people join, give them their money. So then he was paying the people that he Bought, that he initially got the investment from back with other people's money and then he was using some of the money to live his life so he just ran out of money real fast you know what i'm saying but all of this is dj envy's fault you know what i'm saying because he promoted him on radio he ran around with him saying everything's legit everywhere all right um but anywho you know what i'm saying power, power uh power 105 yeah and iheart radio media like they're 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 on the hook for this because they let him they let him say that now to what degree we have yet to see but envy's envy's gonna get packed up for sure post a one million dollars bond and is being released on electronic monitoring he cannot leave the state of new jersey no comment from dj envy an inside source tells us that the iheart radio offices were visited by the feds who took out electronic equipment as part of this investigation from new york sarah wallace news for new york that's crazy that's crazy envy envy what you doing bro what you doing? Like, what's wrong with you, fam? Why, why did you think that was the vibe? Why did you think that was cool? Why did you think that was a, 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 a good idea? Why did you even believe that man? So, um, next we got what Joe, we got what Joe Budden said to him. Okay. That's what we got next. We got what Joe Budden said to him. So what Joe Budden ended up telling him was like, it's a scam. Cause he tried to get Joe Budden and fabulous to join. You know what I'm saying? Joe was like, uh, nah, it's a real estate scam. Um, and uh, here we go. Here's what I need to give us the FSB. I call Clue. Mm -hmm. I call Fabulous. Mm -hmm. I call Joe Button. Mm -hmm. Right? On Desert Storm Family. And I said, hey, guys, I'm doing real estate. This is something that I think that, you know, you should invest a little bit of money and try it out. And that way you can do it. Joe Button told me it was a Ponzi scheme and I was going to go to jail. That's crazy. That's crazy. Do you know Joe you Joe was absolutely right. If if Joe Budden is telling you something to Ponzi scheme, like you should believe him cuz you got to get people to join. That's the whole thing with Ponzi schemes is more people have to join, more people have to join the network, you know what I'm saying? Cuz y'all my thing is why didn't you ever like try to like actually see any of the actual properties? Like how how could you endorse the man, and y'all ain't been in nothing, y'all ain't own nothing. I mean, granted, they they were buying little things here and there, but you know what I'm saying, y'all none of these big old properties. You know what I'm saying, y'all you weren't buying them, y'all wasn't y'all didn't have a portfolio to sell. It was a lie. It was fraudulent. Just taking people's money for no reason, and and DJ Envy wants to play play. You know what I'm saying, innocent, but I get it. You know what I'm saying? That, that there's already charges and stuff flying around. So lawyer, a lawyer would tell you, you know what I'm saying? Shut up. Don't talk about it and all that other stuff. But then at the same time, at the same time, uh, you got to contend with the fact that there's a lot more people now that, you know what I'm saying? They're expecting to hear from you on this issue all the time. And you know what I'm saying? Anything you say is going to come off insensitive. 
know what I'm saying? When you're bound by court to not talk about certain things or you don't want to jeopardize your case by talking about certain things. So now you really got to like hone in and lock in on um, like moving forward, like moving forward in a different way. You know what I'm saying? You got to you got to move forward in a different way. Like I, 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 I would have I would have if I was DJ and B, I would have I would have I would have quit radio. I would have slid into the limelight so fast. Because if I really know this is going down bad, I would have did that. Matter of fact, man, when because these Ricos don't come out of nowhere. They he honestly had a time where probably the Fed sent him a letter and he should have just opened the letter and answered it. You know what I'm saying? Answered it truthfully. You know what I'm saying? Got his plea, got his homie buried. You know what I'm saying? Like Barry, dude, you're a civilian. You don't you don't move by the street code of ethics. Just bury that dude. He's the scammer. He's the one running all the funds and all that. You're just a face. And now you're the public fall guy. You ruined your life. You're probably going to end up getting a divorce because you ruined your life, your family's life. For for what? For what? A couple extra thousand? A couple extra thousand? Come on, get real. Get real. Get real. Anywho, y'all, I'm going to get up out of here. Y'all let me know what y'all think about... Uh, DJ Envy and everything that he's done thus far. Um, I'm going to give you my quick prediction. DJ Envy, unless he folds and takes a plea, he's going to big jail. He's going to big jail. He's going to big jail. He's done. He's done. Because everybody else is going to keep playing out till there's nothing on the table for you, man. If I was Envy and I'm a civilian, I would have been ple- played out. I would have been to play it out. If that, if that was me. You know what I'm saying? Because you know what I'm saying. If you allegedly got scammed too, and you're a victim, you should be able to. You should be able to prove that. And if you're not able to prove it, you know what I'm saying. You can at least, you know what I'm saying, take a couple misdemeanors, then get them expunged off your record and keep it pushing. I don't know, man. And I know I kind of said the expunging off your record thing a little, like it was that light, but it. it I mean, it's 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 a good alternative compared to what we have going on today. Um, but yeah, y'all, let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. I need y'all to like, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all like the video. All right. Um, I appreciate y'all. Have a good one. I'm up out of here, man.